Hello, hello everybody, Corey down here. Welcome to run number 8 of season 2 of Random Hero Runs. Pretty exciting day today because we are apparently getting big ATO news in the dev showcase, but that's not out yet, so we'll just do a random run instead before we talk about that. So this video is probably going to come out way after the news, like a week or two after, but uh, let's just bring up our random number generator and see what we getters. Oh, where's that at? There it is. Oh, and it's off center. Yoink. I hope it wasn't like that for the last video. Alright, 17 numbers, 4. A lot of duplications, no sorting. Alright. 16, 8, 6, and 1. Do I want to do this in the order that I got them in? So it'd be Nesglect, Magnus, Gustav, and Thules. Uh, that would be kind of tortured to do it that way. I think I'm just going to swap it and play this normally. Sorry, commenter from the last run. Maybe when I'm feeling more confident. Hmm, maybe? You know what, let's do it. Let's do it. Surely this won't go bad. All right, mind visions. I, I, I fallen in love with you. I can't stop. All right, that flash heal and anthem of hope are both great. I think I might take those. And then look for anything that could be a big heal. That fanaticism is actually super nice. And that shield of warding is not bad either. We could get prescription. I'm down for protect from evil as well. This is an interesting Nez. Yeah, let's do... No, let's do Sight. Plus two heal. We need plus two heal over the Resist. We're gonna have to... Oh no, we're... Nezlex frontline against Hydra. That's kind of spook. Right. Purple and Trench, that is a very good early sign. I'm thinking about taking that Piercing Hell now. But I could get something useful from random. Well, let's go ahead and reroll. We got to do it yourself so we could not taunt, which is <laughs> oofers. I think I'm taking commander for the battle plan so I can get that entrench out. And probably marauder for the slow. And push forward is actually really good. Time to take provoke, but. I think push forward is actually a little bit better. Alright, speed, do 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 do. Yeah, I think like that. Because we still want that extra vulnerable for Pier Captain's Hell and eventually upgraded Piercing Hell. Alright, we get a sharpening knife right away. For Thules into a last reward. Which could be interesting stuff. We could cross one that we can upgrade it with another sharpening knife. And then do I take ninja for I find weakness is really good. Disengage isn't bad. Oh, we'll go fencer. If this acrobatic strike was a strike any monster one, I think we would have taken that. So we'll just take a weapon cache. Alright, we are loaded up on sharp. I think we just go... Flush. 
Maybe piercing? Maybe poison even? Hmm. All right. Sorry about that. Max HP. This is a tough choice. I think I go vulnerable in case I want to do last strikes. Or the strikes or whatever. Did these strikes. Smoke bomb. Absolutely gonna take that. Then I think I wanna get healing things. Like vitalizing serenade would be amazing. You just had to give me another sharpening knife. I want this, but there's this. You know what? Maybe we'll get Battle of Evasion from this and we won't feel bad. Okay, we feel bad. Well, another weapon cache. Alright. <laughs> This may go super poorly. I don't think we want the stealth for Gustav. I think we get the insanity, to be honest. I think insight maybe though too for Clairvoyant Scroll. This is actually heckin' amazing for Nez tank. I think we put the veteran armor on Gustav. No, we put the runestone. And then I think reinforced armor, veteran armor. We start off with a good amount of armor this this run, and we get the best node possible for experience. So, do we take on Monty? Is the question. We'll figure that out when we get to this node. So do we want Jasper or Pig? I think Jasper is fine over the Farmer Bob and Bacon. Yeah, we'll go Jasper. And this actually isn't too bad since they just get resistances. It's only 15%, so that's half of Reinforce. Uh, you know what, let's do it. A little money won't hurt. Alright, this is a very bad first hit from Magnus. And a very bad hit there. We'll save enough for Entrench. Oh yeah, this is extremely bad. He At least I can dispel stuff. He's mean to mark. Let's go for this thing. That's gonna hit the front pretty hard. There we go. Actually, no, that's not a there we go. Alright, sweet melody. That's not going to solve our slow problem on anybody. Could prevent some damage on Nez. We'll see what weapon cash gives us. Chain of accuracy. I think I do. That is a lot of extra damage I'm going to get. Finish that off and start working on Pig. Probably should have went for Jasper, but... Protect from evil, please? Uh, no. We want to get in Trench, so... 
I don't think we can get to that entrench. No, we can't. We can get to the push forward, though, at least. Your therapy is good there. That's actually some uh, good synergy with uh, the yellow weapon cache. Because that puts a lot of cards in your discard pile. Alright, Wicked Craftsman into a sharpening knife. Blurger into a needle. Captain Sal. Push forward. Helping hand in case we get protection from evil. I'm gonna put up Orphanes. Unfortunate that we get smoke bomb now. I meant to power slave. Or out of war before that. Get rid of that one mark. I actually think I can smoke bomb. Everybody's gonna be stealth and then just Okay, never mind, Nez is gonna be the only one out of there. We can scry out the protector of evil though. Funnily enough, all my good cards were at the bottom. I actually don't think I want to do Protect from Evil though. I think I want to do Mind Visions into Shield of Warding. Is the better play. Yep, just like that. I think I push forward again, just so we have some defenses up against the burn damage. And fast strike. It's actually an interesting combo here. So we'll start with the sharpening knife. Get the weapon cache. Last reward out the sharpening knife again. Viper, Sawtooth. Let me sharpening again. Remove no some uh, damage from Thules. And hopefully, we get a Mind Blast. Mental Shake is just as good. Alright, first combat down. I do like this camo, but I'm not sure if I want scavenge instead, because scavenge could be helpful with uh, songs. And it's especially good with that weapon cache, so I'm actually going to take that scavenge. Do I take the one cost weapon shake? I don't think I do. Guard is actually not a bad choice, but I think I'll pass. Alright, 20 HP, I think that's going on Nez. Defense draw would be actually better on Magnus, but if we get a deflect on, I don't think we have any defense cards. I don't think this counts as defense now. Float bomb is not defense. Vanish isn't defense. Does blur count as defense? No. All right, learning things today. We are learning things. Uh, we can fight some beavers. I think we get this, so Gustav has more of So 10 HP heal every two turns and draw a card, or 5 HP block every turn. I think we get the draw and heal 10. Dang. I wish you could see if they were corrupted or not when you're choosing. Alright, Captain's Hell, Entrench, and then I think we just rend. Uh, 
we'll start with the slice. We'll do a disengage. Throw some darts. Hit weapons off the stripping knife. Heck yes. We keep working on the front. Ah, uh, shoot. Well, this one's the weakest to physical attacks. So we'll do that. Ooh, we get protection from evil. We can uh, scry out. Probably the weapon cache we want to find. Yeah, protect from evil. Mental shake. Uh, piercing Hell does... Makes this guy go later. Which I don't think I care if he does or not. But we could get a push forward. But I think we want to do... Uh, 16 damage all around with just a bleed. Or we get a sharpening knife. And find weakness. We'll just do that on the front and just start working on the front. I'm gonna take the sharpening. This is good because it dispels the four mark. We're all set up for uh, pretty high defense. Dang. I think Magnus is a tank. Magnus is. I think we just do that. Weapon cache. Power slave for the big hand. Right. So let's finish you off. Scavenge for a poison dagger. Uh, smoke bomb and we don't do anything with Nez and we avoid two of their hits. Because we avoid his turn, and now we avoid his turn. And we avoid his turn, too. Amazing smoke bomb. And we don't need to block because nobody's on fire. Alright. Sharp knife. Weapon cache. Gustav is definitely getting the better caches out of the two <laughs> scouts I have here. Poison Dagger. And Vexing Crescendo. To deflect. I think we take a vitalizing serenade on uh, Gustav just because I'm a little worried about survivability, even though I shouldn't be. But that is a 20 heal on everybody for three. Haha, <laughs> no, 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 we're not taking that. Alright, doing the push forward. Oh, now we drew in trench. I think I'll just do butchering and hope it doesn't hit the front. Alright, I think I'm safe to ambush and then sharpening knife. Or do I do sharpening knife, sawtooth? Just forget about the ambush. No. I want this dead. Actually, this dead would have been better. We'll just go with this and hopefully Gustav can kill. Alright, yeah, we can weapon cache. 
Do I want a poison dagger, poison dagger, or poison dagger? Alright. I do need to spend a salty knife back there. Alright. So I don't have any AoE damage. Which is unfortunate. Right, we'll waste our evasion on ourselves. I'm only going to be losing four sharp if I let that live. And if I let this live, it's going to get powerful to everything. So, I think that's the better choice. Oh, I did lose my fast, but that's fine. Captain's Hell. Oh, we can get a helping hand out. No, we can't. Those wrens are kind of useless. Alright. Last reward doesn't really do anything for us. Now oh, we can get another sharpening knife. Uh, we can scavenge out a poison dagger. And then draw it with the fish. Alright. Yeah, I think we chant of accuracy ourselves before doing it. I think I'll wait on the quick shot. Owie. Extra evil. We'll shield awarding ourselves. Right, helping hand on Thules. We can also piercing hell. Maybe entrench? Yeah, there we go, entrench. Alright, we can. Killer Instinct and a Weapon Cache, I think, is the better play. Even though we're going to lose that plus 60% damage. I think it's a lot better to get a 44 attack item here. Poison Dart you, so you don't bear trap us. We're going to do two targeted attacks, so the smoke bomb is actually going to get us out of dodge. If Gustav doesn't kill here. No, Gustav kills. Wonderful. We'll take this for later. I don't think I'd take a second healing serenade. That chance tempting too, but... No, nope, it'll be fine. I'm gonna try to get a discount. Oh, thank goodness for that entrench. Oh my gosh, that was almost a bad failure. <gasps> More fish! Oh my gosh, this is a good, good thing. I think we're taking the fish. And then Fountain Pen, Magnus. Because if we change our Blattle Plan around, that'll be a good bit. Because either what, other way we're going to have to find a Prescription or take a... I mean, Prescription is not going to be that bad, but... Nesglect has so many good weapons you can get. Well, Magnus is kind of... He's already in a support role. Alright, we want to hit this badly. So... Go ahead and grab Night Terror. Hmm. So 20% HP or the ability to go bam, 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 bam. And 20% HP over the bam, 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 bam. Black Talons, definitely. And then uh, probably Wolfguard. 
Alright, I'm gonna just go. Alright. Let's do the battle plan so everybody gets inspired. And then we'll guard up to Nez. Barricade. Do we piercing hell? I don't think that courage matters. But you are dispelling three. We'll see. Okay, yeah, Black Talons will allow us to kill this. Good thing I did that. So we'll start off with the fine weakness. Black Talons. Flame with Dink to Sharpening Knife. Poison Dagger. Sawtooth Blade. Alright, she's not dead, you gotta remember that. But we get the Weapon Cache into Power Slave combo. Or the, yeah, Power Slave. Oh, dang! Six. Shouldn't it be in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Unless it's point five. Oh, equals hand point five. Yeah, it is point five. Don is greedy. Alright. Uh, do I chant up accuracy? I think I owed a war because 15%. Or an extra 15% damage. No, chant of accuracy is better. Well. Work on this front line here. Alright, it's a good chunk of damage. I'm gonna take a good chunk here too. Alright. Mind oh, look at that curative therapy going off already. I can even enter fire and make it even better. I will actually do that on Thules. And I avoid the damage from this, so there's like no reason not to do it, right? Alright, and we get the entrench. And then the stabbies. And then we can weapon cache and last reward something out of the weapon cache or get the. Yep. We'll just poison there at the front, get it out of here. Oh, I meant the sharpening, get the sharpening knife back out. Whoops. Misplays. Alright. Oh my goodness, look at the healing. I can get the sharpening knife. Out of my deck, right? And it costs cheaper. It's uh, cheaper too. This thing is so resistant. I can actually smoke bomb too. So we'll do the smoke bomb. Get splashed, avoid the bop damage. Ooh. Combos. We like those. A Captain's Hell. Fast Strikes and Speed Up. I need to be on the lookout for more battle plans. Oh, look at that ambush synergy with the smoke bomb. Alright. Change weapon is actually just draw cards, which is extremely nice. And then, I think we pass. Is hidden weapon okay to do? Actually, it's more than okay to do. And hopefully we get a good roll up here. Alright, Boots of Swiftness. Probably better on Gustav than that. Mana Potion on... Uh, actually, Mana Potion on... Uh, put that on Magnus. I think he's going to have to get more value out of that. We'll put the Amber Amulet on Thule just for a little bit of survivability. I think we go down in this node because if it's the uh, pets or if it's uh, by arena, 
All right, 30% discount. So first things first, I think I want battle plan. I think it's super expensive. Yeah, I don't think the upgrade's worth it. I think I'd rather have double hidden weapons upgrades. And a scavenge upgrade too. And we can also get that, uh, I think we got a expected prophecy we want upgraded. Foresight, yuck. Anthem of Hope for Group Inspire is actually going to be pretty tight. And then... The Wicked Craftsman would have been good changes. So I think I'll actually save my shards for that later. Actually, no, Piercing Hell. Extra 10% minus resist is good. Alright, so we're going to hope this is a good node. That's an amazing scavenge. But the money, though. Will I get 600 by this point? I think I will. We'll see. Alright, change weapon, get out of my hand, bluff, look for battle plan, nope. We'll go that on Gustav and get the entrench out. Ow, 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 and ha, ow. Alrighties, we can weapon cache. Get the bags. Good song of quickness, but no. I think I vanish. What am I avoiding here? Alright, the dream would be protect from evil with uh, Nezlect. Although Nezlect isn't going to go first, I should have actually played the. Uh, one thing. Can get rid of her, I think. Okay, maybe not. Another sharpening knife. There's a protect from evil. I needed to go first though. She's gonna live at one HP, so we just know <laughs> why night dared her. <laughs> Die! No starfall for you. Weapon cash. Alright. Work on the front boy. All right. Oh no, we're gonna get shackled again. All right, we can Anthem of Hope, Flash Heal, Fanaticism, since we avoid the damage, give him the Foresight. I probably should have went on Thules, but all right. Actually, that looks pretty decent. Alright, we've got nothing in the draw pile for hidden weapons. But we do have a pallet or a power slave. Hmm. I can scavenge out the smoke bomb. But she's gonna just go stealth. Ah. 
And the smoke bomb's not gonna get Magnus, is the thing, too. But we can scavenge out a sharpening knife. No, we don't have a sharpening knife to scavenge out. Let's just get another quick shot. And do five damage with it. And hold all our energy. Alright, Captain Sal. Push forward actually might put us in a very good spot. I should have put the guard on duels. Do battle plan. Change weapon. Alright, now we can hit weapons and get some uh, stuff out. Don't really need the HP, but I think it feels good just to do that. She's gonna hit the wolves. I don't have the upgraded song quickness, but we might be able to kill her. Oh yeah, we definitely kill her. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Don't copyright me. That one song that's really addicting. That's on the Slugcat video. Alright, that's a healthy amount of insanity. Thul should be able to punch right through. Oh, he's definitely punching right there. Power through! Alright. Let's see what we get here. I think nothing there. That's actually interesting, but no. No. And no. And... Uh, extreme Corrupter, but terrible, terrible rewards. Is Magnus really that slow? I look away for two seconds, my whole team's slower than the entire enemy team. Also, yes, you need to die. Both of you are terrible together. Oh my goodness, I did three damage. It's not even worth attacking right now. First, we'll do change weapon to get some stuff out of our deck. Alright, we can lower the resistances, but it's not going to help too much. Actually, it did help a lot there. Hopefully, we get Killer Instinct? No. I need to kill you before you get. The group wide mighty get off. I don't know why I didn't enter fire there. I guess I'm just afraid of the two fire damage. Alright. So, hidden weapons first. Bass. Carp. Melodic Rhythm, I guess. That's gonna be better on Thules. War, Shiv. And I think I'm gonna do Song of Quickness, get Gustav up a little bit. And that six vulnerable is kinda dicey. Do Thules have any big attacks coming up? Not really, that would benefit from group stealth. So I think I just wait. Okay, we do get an entrench. Oh, I was hoping for... I was hoping for, uh... Weapon cache. Okay, we got it before it made everything invulnerable.
Good, good. Alright, so we're gonna flash heal ourselves. Foresight, expected prophecy. Get the anthem of hope for the draw. And actually just gonna do damage to the back one since the, our damage is gonna be prevented. And this is actually all good for me. I think I'm just gonna heal myself. Some duels. Alright, we get the weapon cache. Alright, so we weapon cache, get a big, big hand to be the power slave. Maybe bass. Alright, we'll work on the monsters we can see. And then we scavenge out a poison daggers. Funny that this one's weaker, because it's uh, one cost. We save the one energy for next turn. Push forward to push some defenses. And then we battle plan for the... Change of weapon is so good! Look at that! It's back again! Alright. Weapon cache. Killer instinct. I didn't get any bouncy things like I was hoping to get. We'll just have to kill this next turn. Uh, do I have a dispel? I don't think I do. It's only goose out that does, so we'll just protect from evil. Which should prevent the poison bleed. Okay, it did. I don't think it was necessary, but. Wait, why am I doing that? I can. Actually, I know why I'm doing that, so I can rotate. Now I can hit weapons. Beautiful. Small weapons builds underrated. I know they're a bit RNG heavy, but they just synergize so well with each other. Alright. I am on fire, I told him. Get the pets. I, I, I also need to read all these. Young girl, or the girl with the duck. You meet a young girl with a strange duck. Next to them, several monsters, but they seem harmless when you approach. She says, hello travelers. As you can see, I'm a monster trainer. I've already changed a few in this area. If you want, you can keep them as an exchange for a small favor. He takes this monster to a friend of mine called it Bash. I think he's somewhere in the upper ruins. He broke my bike. We need to get him. <laughs> uh, Pokemon references. All right. Asmodi, hello. Betty, also hellos. Leanti, also super hellos. Where, are we exchanging out the fish later? I don't think so. <sighs> do I go for the skill discount? I think I do. I just love the skill discount so much. It just feels good, even though you might not use it all the time. Definitely taking the sharp plus one. Melee attack and defense mastery. Uh, let's remove a card. Nobody's missing. It. Nobody's missing any health. We are. We are a strong team today. But I guess Magnus is apparently one of the best ones. I don't think. According to uh, Seal's own data, which I should be recording data myself, he's never lost a run with Magnus after the patch. So that's kind of cool. Alright, I think we get rid of some quickness. Then here... I don't like Veil Eyes. Alright, click here, and... More money. But, I don't like mushrooms, so we'll have to get... Wait, I don't want the mushrooms. They taste nasty. 
Oh, that hellmark is gonna be... Hallelujah. Alright, piercing hell again, and then push forward. I was gonna say, can we one turn this, but we did not get a draw that is good enough to one turn. I think we chain of accuracy thools. Well, they granted them and then vanish. Yeah, Cthulhu has Lanty. Ooh, weapon cash into Black Talons. Oh, we get only one bouncy. That's fine. Dang. That almost one shot. If I did Slice first and got the powerful, that would have one shot. Alright, we need Mind Blast. What do fanaticism? He's gonna taunt him. Actually, he's not really buffing anybody. Toss the Wicked Craftsman. Toss the Poison Dart. And toss the Ambush. And we'll just do that for 30 damage. 3 for 30 isn't bad. Especially since he's going to Courage up. Oh, that L mark though. Ooh, and everybody gets Inspire. And we get to pass out more Inspire. Alright. He might be dead this turn. Alright, we got... We could get two small weapons out. So how big is our hand right now? One, two, three, four, five. One, two... So we play this, we get a full hand. We can power slave. We can do sharpening knife. I think we draw a bass. Uh, can we get through the? No, we can't draw. I'm gonna say if we can draw and shuffle back the zero cost weapons that we're about to get here, would be good. Look at Gustav go! Oh, we can get that, uh, zero cost sharpening knife back out too. Whoops. We are just throwing everything in the kitchen sink at them. That was a quick fight. We don't really need dispels since I think I'm going to craft a mass dispel near the end. I will take that last stand though because that is pretty noise. Desperate Prayer I'm actually liking a lot. I'm actually going to take it. That card's been clutched lately. Oh my. Is worth or is not worth? Okay, I think this is the worth one here. And I do think this is better than every turn gain one evasion. I think we go Druidic Amulet. And the Magnus is gonna get a big old pass. And that is the end of floor one. The way up. You defeat the monster guarding the staircase and collect a small amount of loot. As you climb the staircase, you get strange energy enveloped you. You gain your strength and notice your skills improve. What do you want to improve? Uh, speed for neglect? For protect from evil? Yeah. Alright, and Bash is on a decent route where we get an extra fight. And we get to go to Sunumo's shop. So, pretty hype for that. Uh, how many quick shots do we have? I know somebody has a quick shot. Because we could get Tempest. Gustav's got a quick shot. We'll see what happens. But that'll be it for today's episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.
evening, night, whatever. Take care of yourselves, be healthy, brush your teeth, do all that stuff. 50 minute episode. Well, I guess it was the biggest, longest uh, act one you could have. So, thank you for watching. Bye!